Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at navigating and moving around Dynamics 365 for sales. And to start we need to uh, go to office.com, click on Dynamics 365 which will show all of our Dyna Dynamics apps side by side. And then scrolling a bit further down we can click on the sales hub which will take us into Dynamics 365 for sales or CRM, customer relationship management as it's more traditionally referred to. So when we first log in we'll go to our homepage which is generally the dashboard unless you change the settings for it to be otherwise. Um, from anywhere in the system, you can always get back to the home screen by clicking home at the top. With the un new unified interface that you're seeing here, which is pretty the, prettier than previous versions, uh, Microsoft have made it adaptive so it also works well on, on other devices. So whether using the mobile app or the tablet, um, either zooming into the screen or zooming out the screen will automatically adjust your dimensions so that it displays correctly. Um, if say you are using a tablet, you've also got the option to minimize this menu on the left um, to give you more screen space, which is quite nice. So we'll talk around sort of changing views, creating dashboards and more of that advanced stuff in other videos. So if you're interested to get into more of the detail, then please do check out our other video resources to see what it is that you'd, you'd like to have a look at. But for the purposes of this brief video, we're just going to have a look at the different areas of the system um, and some of the shortcuts that you can use in, in navigating around. So first of all, we've got our menu items to the left. So my work, self-explanatory, dashboards is where we are at the moment, activities, um, are obviously my activities list, which we'll come back to in subsequent videos. Um, when we then look at sort of customers and sales in terms of their division in the, in the menu here, when I look at these, I tend to split my mind into new business. Um, so leads and opportunities for companies we may not already be engaged with. So sort of new business, trying to sort of expand and, and grow our customer base. Um, and then customers um, that in the most part relate to people that we're already working with um, or any partnerships we have with, with other organizations. And that's not to say that's the be what will and end all. So, for example, you could have multiple leads um, that exist within uh, an existing customer account. So it depends on the way that your business is formed, you know, if, if you are working more with an existing client base um, rather than going after new business, you know, that's perfectly acceptable as well. Moving a little bit further down, um, we've got collateral, quotes, orders and invoices, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then we've got products, sales literature, marketing lists, quick campaigns, and some more advanced elements here. So it's worth noting that not all of these are available in the base level licensing. So Dynamics 365 for sales professional won't include competitors. It won't include products, marketing lists, and goals. Um, it will just contain the, the basics. Um, but to be fair, a, a lot of our clients don't tend to use some of the advanced capability. And there is, of course, um, an upgrade path to the enterprise version if you'd like to use it. Anyway, so before we start moving away into lists and showing you lists and form views, I um, just want to draw attention to the, the top right cluster of icons up here. So if we click on the magnifying glass here, it'll allow us to search our entire system. So I can type in Adam, it will show me everywhere um, that Adam exists. I can then further refine and say, where do I want to search? Um, I can use um, this plus icon to quickly create records. So if I want to create a new contact, for example, I can do that really quickly using the top menu just by entering a, a few details there. Um, and then I can go into settings to get into sort of advanced options um, and, and personalization there, all of which we will cover off um, in later sessions. But for the time being, because we're looking at views and navigations, what we'll do is we'll just click on contacts um, and we'll, we'll have a look at this list. So this list looks a little bit like Excel, um, obviously a tool that's familiar to most people. Everything that's in um, blue is, is a hyperlink, um, so we can click through into that record um, and drill down into the contact form, which more often than not is loosely categorised into information on the left, timeline and history in the centre, um, and then anything that might be related in addition on the right. We've then got further subcategories, so if you did want to enter more detail, you can click on details. Um, which is great for entering information such as contact preferences, which are great for GDPR and all of that compliance related stuff. Um, we've then got files where you can link um, documents to say a SharePoint file folder, um, which is quite useful. All you've got to do is turn that on in your settings. Um, and then you've got a related panel, um, which will show you areas that this contact may also be uh, related to. So for example, it could be that one contact um, is working for a number of different companies or company divisions. Um, it could be that you've got multiple leads uh, against one customer, which I mentioned earlier. Um, so it's, it's quite intelligent the way that you can associate records with each other. Um, so you've got that single clear source of information for everything, okay? Past that, list views, form views, 
you know, the look and feel is the same, but of course these fields are, are likely to change. So for example, if we go into an opportunity, and we'll go into more detail on this later, obviously we can see that the list view has changed because there's a lot more data now that we want to, to keep track of. But if I choose one of these examples, I can see now that the information on the left has changed. So we've got information about the, the prospect's current situation. So we can be really sort of detailed with the sort of information that we enter there. And we can also see that we've got a guide in the form of uh, an opportunity sales process at the top here, um, which you're free to, to tweak if you want to. Um, as I say, don't want to get too far ahead considering that this was just an introduction to the way that you navigate around Dynamics for Sales. So, you know, Hopefully that's a, a decent introduction to give you a good impression as to where everything is um, and what to click on to get where. To order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30 day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.